In this video, I will show you how you can create a personal task board in Microsoft Planner. Now, the first thing that you want to do is navigate to Microsoft Planner. Next, you want to click on the new plan button at the bottom of the planner interface. Next, you want to select what type of plan you would like to create. Now you can select one of these pre-built templates or you can just create a plan from scratch. Now I'll go ahead and click on basic. Next, you want to give your plan a name. Now you can see here, I've called my plan, my to-do list. Now the next part is really important. What you want to do is make sure that you do not select any values in the add to a group field. Now, if you select a value in this field, what that means is that you will actually be creating a plan that is shared with the members of that group. Now, I will leave this blank and I'll go ahead and check add to my pinned plans and then I'll go ahead and click create. And just like that, I now have a Microsoft Planner task board that I can use to track my own personal tasks. Now, a couple of quick notes. First and foremost, you can tell if a plan is private or personal by clicking into the plan and looking for this lock icon. You can see here as I hover my cursor over it, it reads private to you, meaning that any tasks I create in this plan are going to only be visible to me. Now, the next important note is if you want to share this plan at any point, what you can do is click on the share button. And here you have the option to now share this personal plan with another Microsoft 365 group. Now you'll also notice on this invite member screen that I have the option to either create a new group or I can select an existing group. Now really important note, depending on how your Microsoft environment was set up, you may not be able to create groups yourselves. That might be something that is done by your IT department, but you should be able to check this option that says add to existing groups. And here you will see a bunch of the Microsoft groups that you have access to. Now, the last thing that I will show you is when you're working in this Microsoft Planner view where you can view all of your plans, you can also easily differentiate between plans that were created privately versus those created as part of a group by looking at the icon associated with the plan. Now you'll notice here that I've added customer service tasks and project tasks, and these have different icons than my to-do list. Now the reason for this is these plans were actually created in the context of a team. So those plans are shared with the team members. Any private plan that you create in the method I've just showed you will have this icon here indicating that it is a private plan. So that's it. In this video, I demonstrated how you can create a personal task board in Microsoft Planner. Now, if you found this video helpful, be sure to give it a like, share it with your friends, drop a comment below. And most importantly, if you like straight to the point tutorials with no fluff, be sure to subscribe to my channel and be sure to enable notifications so that you don't miss out on any of my new content. I'm Louis Akabalos. I'll see you in the next video.